message for all Autobots scattered throughout the galaxies. Though Cybertron has fallen, we still stand. Follow these coordinates to join us. Priority Prime. Optimus Prime. Rescue Force Sigma-17 reporting for duty. I was not aware rescue teams were still active. Wherever there is an emergency, there are rescue bots, sir. Wait, why wouldn't we be active? How long were we in stasis? We better check in with Cybertron HQ. That will not be necessary or possible. Cybertron is no longer our home. This planet is Rock PD. Please pull over. Figured you'd want to say goodbye to the old rust bucket. It's her last day on the job. I still don't understand why the city's making you get a new car, Dad. This one works fine. Progress, kiddo. Town wouldn't be a high-tech testing round if we stayed bad. Give it up, Dad. If Cody had his way, we'd all be pedaling everywhere. Of course, you'd still be on training wheels, Cade. <laughs> yeah, and the helmet might mess up your hair. Y quit it, Graham. Don't forget to be at the dedication this afternoon. Think I could test drive the Cody? We're getting rescue vehicles, not go-karts. Sorry, pal. For authorized emergency responders only. So basically, everyone in the family but me. I have to drop these troublemakers off and catch a chopper to the mainland. You get your bottom to school. And Cody, give it time. You'll find your place. Heat wave, chase, blades, Boulder. After careful consideration, I have chosen your new mission. Nice. We are happy to join the battle, sir. So when do we roll out? You do not. As perhaps the last rescue bots in existence, you are uniquely suited to help the people of this planet as well as learn from them. You mean we'll interact with humans? You will be ambassadors to the people of this planet. The first Autobots to live with a human family, study their customs, obey their rules, and work together to keep this planet safe. During this mission, you four must appear to the humans as machines, robots in disguise. What? While the people of Earth are comfortable with advanced technology, the idea that alien beings are living among them will undoubtedly cause panic. So we can help the humans as long as we hide our true selves. You are right to question what is best for your team, Heatwave. That is why I am asking you to lead this mission. To maintain your cover, you will each adopt a vehicle mode based on Earth technology. Whoa, look at those lines. This thing's a powerhouse. Boulder, do you wish to scan first? Huh, primitive, but 
but apparently they use this one for what I did back home. Is this what Earth authorities use for rule enforcement? It seems your choice has been made for you, Blades. Wait. This thing flies? He doesn't like heights. This is Chief Charlie Burns. He knows our secret and will help you keep yours. Rescue bots, good luck. It is an honor and a privilege. Over here. Cody, come here! Hey, Doc. Frankie, isn't this exciting? The text like nothing I've ever seen. <clears throat> uh, thank you for coming, folks. I'm not talking about the rescue stuff. I'm talking about this. The new exhibit at the museum. Cyber wire, saurian structures, and fuels with Cretaceous DNA. Our town has a long history of being on the cutting edge of new technology. Now, thanks to our friends in Washington, I give you the latest in emergency response, the rescue bots. Robots, transform! <laughs> These robotic rescue vehicles will streamline our resources. Now one human teamed with one robot can do the work of an entire police force, fire department, Emergency Response Unit and Engineering Corps. Each robot is programmed to respond only to the commands of its handler. So you can sleep at night knowing that Griffin Rock is protected by the very best that technology and humanity have to offer. on its own. Yo, kid, can you move? I want a photo of the Burns family of heroes. <sighs> this is the chief. Go ahead. Fire at the Natural History Museum. I didn't tell to do that. It's new technology, son. Bound to be some bugs. Oh, come on, faster. We're being outrun by a bulldozer. I do not understand. Not so slow. Fly low. Understood. Ugh. Transform and clear the Museum of Civilians. Please evacuate in an orderly fashion. These humans did not respond. <laughs> well, I don't think we need to worry too much about them, partner. We need to move the planners to create a fire block. But I... That will destroy the harmonious nature of the plaza's design. What? <laughs> nice of you to show up, Danny. Would have been here sooner if my ride wasn't stuck in neutral. <sighs> Next time I'm walking. <sighs> Looks like a short start of the fire, but this should hold for a while. The cyber wire's too much for these old circuits. Hmm. 
Well, it's just a good thing nobody got hurt. I didn't tell it to do that. I wouldn't complain. Your robot was still in rescue mode. You gave him the directive to save lives, so he did. You're welcome, Graham. Ugh. <sighs> some space. Chief said there's a bunker below street level. Relic of something they call the Cold War. Apparently we're getting some space too. Wait for me! I still don't get it. How did Cade's robot know to... It passed the carrots, huh? I noticed a glitch or two with my copter, but at least I had it under control. A glitch is one thing, but I saw... Cade, Danny, Graham, you guys did great work today. Can I be excused? Optimists are no optimists. I don't know how long I can put up with this. Ordered around. <laughs> Others taking the credit. <laughs> Having to pretend we're tin cans. Well, did you see the way my partner pilots me? My controls are still sore. It's always higher, higher, faster, faster. Still, it was nice being a part of an emergency response again. I find our chief quite competent. There is much he can teach us about Earth's law enforcement procedures. The humans do have strange ways. But that's what makes them so interesting. I'm leaving. You can't leave. You're our leader. Then we'll all go. Those humans will never understand us. We'll never belong here. I know what you mean. Don't bother. You're not fooling anybody. Trust me. Living in Griffin Rock? I know robots. And you guys? Worst robots I've ever seen. We've failed at our mission. Our cover is blown. If this human knows, he'll tell the others. Are you kidding? And waste the chance to know something they don't? Something this huge? I'm the best thing that could have happened to your mission, because I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Earth. Can you teach me how to make my humans stop yelling? Danny, I don't think anyone can do that. I'm Cody, by the way. I'm Blades. Boulder. Classified. That's Chase. And I'm Heatwave. So, Cody, now that you know what we are, name one good reason why we shouldn't leave this planet right now. There's tunnels like this one all over the island. And they all end in the bunker. Great for sneaking out of the firehouse. Whoa. It's like a million optics set in carbon. So beautiful. I guess it kind of is. So why would you ever want to leave? This is what everyone will expect you to act like. See? Lock your legs, stick out your arms. You try. I understand what you're doing. What I don't understand is how talking like this is gonna make my ride along respect me. The trick with Cade is to make him think he's in charge. Trust me, I've been doing it for years. Is that part of the film? I know I'm new here, but aren't dinosaurs extinct? This one's about to be. Heatwave, wait! Look. If anyone sees you taking down that dino on your own, there goes your cover and your mission. 
it's attracted to the light. Chase, hit your lights! That got his attention. Now what? We need to lure him somewhere with no people around. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! the chief in. Rescue headquarters, go ahead. Dead, uh, okay, first, don't worry, I'm with the rescue bots. What, who gave you permission to? They did, I mean, uh, Dad, I don't know how to tell you this, but the rescue bots aren't robots. They're from another planet, they're aliens. How long have you known? Wait, you know? Cody, where are you? Chief Burns, if I may. We are headed westbound on Lake Street with a dinosaur in pursuit. A dinosaur, again? Cody, you aren't driving, are you? No. Why did we take the old squad car? Huh? <laughs> That's why. I'll explain later. Jacked my ride? Listen, the T-Rex likes lights. I think you should... Less talk, more action. <gasps> Whoa, this machine almost drives itself. Stay here, son. Cody, get off this channel. It's for emergency responders only. Pipe down, Kate. Cody spotted the dinosaur first. For now, he's on the team. Fine by me. Got any ideas, Cody? Not exactly, but I know someone who will. Uh, hello? Uh, Cody? The dinosaur exhibit. Fine. Now you're interested. Almost there. Just a little more to the right. Preparing to lift the payload. Good to go, Danny. You really think this will hold a Tyrannosaur? We'll find out. supposed to get that thing over here. Thought you'd never ask. He was right. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> uh, 
Think anyone will notice? Wait, I want to get a picture of my heroes. All my heroes. Oh, come on, Dad. Just because Cody answered one rescue call doesn't mean he's part of the team. Yes, it does. Oh! Or we're not. <gasps> oh! Cody is our liaison on this mission. He's the reason we're even giving this place a chance. Are we clear? <gasps> Dad, did that thing just talk back to me? Something's definitely wrong with the robots. We can't use technology prone to malfunction. They're not malfunctioning. They're aliens. What? <laughs> You will be compensated for any damages, citizen. Attention rescue team! Robo Landscaper out of control! <laughs> Could use a hand here. Where are you at, Burns family? Uh, might be a while, Dad. It's just too bizarre. They're alive, but we're supposed to ride inside of them? Don't be a wimp, Graham. They're just vehicles. Hey, can hear you, you know. Uh, hurry up, Blades. We have to go. No sign of the suspect. What now, sir? A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. Here's where the hope can the strangest of places. Earth was their home now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in the world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. To players and make robots in the You to hold on, sir. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. And you will not be compensated for any damages. It, didn't we? What kept you all? Our rides wouldn't let us drive. They're slowing us down. Fast enough for you? Let me out! Well, oh, I'm gonna hurl. <sighs> Never again. Look, I know we're all adjusting to being a team, learning about each other, but it'll go a lot smoother if we work together. I signed up to rescue people, not make nice with machines. These humans don't realize they're on a team. Don't worry, Heatwave. I'll talk to them. Hey, Cade. Can I pop that for you? You know, it's pretty amazing you get to be partners with an alien. Oh, yeah. Amazing. I have to ask my ride to roll down my own window. But you and Heatwave have tons in common. He... It's not a he, Cody. It's a truck. <sighs> and back home, Blades had wheels. He never flew until he got to Earth. That's why he's so bad at it. <sighs> Plus, he kind of hates heights. 
Blaze is my partner. He better learn to love him. <sighs> Boulder's crazy about Earth. He wants to soak up everything he can. And I'd love to learn about his planet's tech. See, you're the perfect team. You can teach each Cody. other... Cody, Boulder's an alien from a highly advanced society. How am I going to teach him anything? This isn't working, Optimus. Our partners don't want anything to do with us. Actually, Chief and I get along quite well. Uh, how are we supposed to complete your mission to help humans if they won't let us? I am certain you will find a way, Heatwave. Remember, learning to communicate with humans is also part of your mission. My partner communicates loud and clear. Especially loud. Well, Cody's been trying to help us fit in. Then, take guidance from Cody. I have found that the young of this species are the most valuable allies. Make friends? With all due respect, Optimus, that's all you have to say? Not entirely. Rescue bots, good luck. Guys! Whoa! I didn't know the bunker had a secret room! How did it go, Cody? New plan. Cade, Danny, and Graham don't know you like I do, right? So, you all just need to bond. What does bonding entail? This is the amazing thing we had to see. The bunker. We've been here a thousand times. Well, not in years. Oh, I used to love to play down here. <laughs> Remember when you got lost in the tunnels, Cade? Wonder if I could beat my old score. You're on! First, I, I, I don't want to go, go first. We could go, go by high. Oh, he's high. Let me go first. Hi. What? Really? Don't freak. I invited them, too. I thought it would be cool if we all hung out together. You know, just the eight of us. Come on, Cade. What are you afraid of? Is this an Earth game? May I try? Sure. You pull this to start. Oh, fun! Now what? Mm. Lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? Perfect for flying. Or not. Uh, do you have any hobbies? Flying. Yeah, I think we're done here. That went quite well. We have a situation on Main and Park. Sewer's overflowing. So call a plumber with lava. This could get ugly pretty fast. I need the whole team out here. Cody, get on the command center, Comlink. Your siblings will need some help working with their partners. Next time, citizen, please follow the rules of the road. It's not just a good idea, it's the law. Can you be a little more ow, gentle with that? As soon as you learn how to fly, Danny, be nice, remember? Blades, buddy, I know this is hard for you, but you can do it. So do it already! This is enough to hold the lava? Oh, uh, you're right. It, it must seem like such a primitive solution to you. Graham, Boulder's not dissing you. He's trying to help. But you gotta tell him what you're thinking first. I 
got this covered. You can move on, partner. Cave, you have to work together. No time for chit chat, Cody. Downtown, but the lava won't quit. If we can't plug the leak soon, I'll need you to send out an island-wide evacuation order. You got it, Dad. But let me call someone first. Doc Green, you there? Do not adjust your monitor. I'm upside down over here, too. I'm testing my theory that I can solve equations faster when all my blood is collected in my head. Doc, is there a volcano on the island we don't know about? No, but there is one we do know about. Mount Magma, built for the World's Fair of 1939. That's when they invented deep-fried cotton candy. You see, the sugar fell into the hot oil and... Doc, how can a fake volcano spew real lava into the sewers? Well, the volcano's fake, but the lava isn't. When Mount Magma was moved here, the engineers sunk a pipe deep into the Earth's core. Pent-up pressure in the core could push lava back up the pipe, but... The top of the volcano is sealed, so the lava would come out wherever it could, like the sewers. The pressure would keep forcing lava out until it covered our whole island. Uh, that would take about 4.7 hours. Ah, shaved a full second off my calculation time. Hanging upside down really does work. Doc, this is for real. Yeah. Then you have to get rid of the lava pressure immediately. Think of the volcano as a giant fizzy bottle. To get rid of the pressure, you open it a little at a time. A small controlled eruption should take care of your lava problem. But don't open the lid fast or... All right, team. Just got off the comm with Cody. He says we can stop this lava, but we have to erupt a volcano to do it. And that's the safest option? It's the only option. I won't lie, things might get hairy. If the volcano goes off too fast, we could get caught in the lava. I'll understand if you don't want to be part of this mission. It's dangerous. Griffin Rock isn't your home. If you go, we go. You'd risk your lives for us? That's what being partners means. Wherever there is an emergency, there are rescue bots ready to serve, save, and protect. We didn't have the chance to save our home. We won't let you lose yours. Glad to have you on board. But for this plan to succeed, we'll all have to put aside our differences and work together as real partners. Understood? You're almost there, guys. Boulder, I'm sending you a schematic of how the volcano works. Hmm. Yes, I see. Graham, you have to tell Boulder what you're thinking. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, from this diagram, it looks like the volcano's on switch should be inside the mountain nearby. But I don't know where exactly. That's where I can help. Found it. Whoa. You have seismic imaging? Of course. Head back to town, please. It's about to get hot around here. Oh, oh no. Oh, right away. Yes, sir. What's going on, Cody? When do we get to see some action? Blades is moving into place now. Oh. 
Blades, we're attaching you to the switch for the volcano's lowest setting. When you fly up, the volcano will turn on and blast out the lava. Get clear as quickly as you can. Blades and I have it from here. Shoo, you two. We did it. Now, let's just get out of there. Let's go higher! We have to get out of this! Which way is higher? Ugh. Danny, talk nicely! I know, I know. <sighs> Blades, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I know you can't see, but I can read your instruments clear as day. Ah! I'll guide you. You're right side up. Just take us as high as you can. It's okay if you go slow. Here goes nothing. I did it, Danny! I did it! Um, excuse me? I think my rotor just hiccuped. It must be the ash. We better take you down. How's it looking, Kate? This lava isn't going anywhere. Good. Chase and I closed all the mountain roads just in case. Sounds like crisis averted, team. Way to go, everyone! I'll be waiting for you in the bunker. <gasps> That's weird. The lava's disappearing. Wasn't that what we wanted? Not like this. Uh, you guys... The lava over on my side is draining into some sort of hole in the rock. Oh, that's not a hole. It's a tunnel. A tunnel? Like the ones that all lead to the firehouse bunker? Wait a minute. The lava's flowing toward the bunker? But that's where Cody is. Cody. Cody, can you hear us? You must be offline and underground by now. Why didn't you warn us Cody might be in danger? I, I didn't know. There's no tunnel on the schematic. Ugh. We're supposed to be heroes and we can't do anything. We can do plenty if you stop complaining and get in. Graham, are there any other tunnels near here that intersect the path of the lava? I don't know. None of these diagrams are up to date. Boulder, can you map the tunnels below us? Danny, we're gonna need water. Maybe we can cool this lava and slow it down. I'll see what I can do. Found it. Okay, here's the lava. If you take the tunnel below, you might have time to stop the flow before it reaches Cody. But you'd have to make it to this crossing before the lava does. We will. A water tower, but there's no way we can get there on foot. Whoa, a blade! Oh no, we can't fly in this ash. It might freeze your rotors. And it might not. If it means helping Cody, it's worth a few hiccups. Excuse me in advance? Anytime, partner. should be straight ahead. No, no, no! We'll never get through! Get in. Cool down the lava, we can stop it from reaching Cody. Not if it just keeps coming.
Anybody order a drink? What? No, we're taking this to the lava. Oh, I get it. Earth humor. <laughs> the lava's moving too fast. Good a place as any to hold our ground. What happened? We've exhausted my water reserves. Go, save yourself. Fat chance. Okay, Blake, drop the water now. came through uh, you know this doesn't mean we're best friends or anything I was thinking the exact same thing hey how'd you guys get in here Don't you ever scare us like that again. Yeah, what he said. What'd I do? You guys! You gotta come check this out! What do you think? I mean... This is their home now, too, right? Sure looks that way. <laughs> can I call you back? This really isn't a good time. I can see that, Doc. My solar car's out of control! Darn thing won't shut off. The accelerator is stuck. The steering system seems to have a mind of its own. And I'm getting a little car sick. All right, team, you heard the doc. Let's do what we do. The vehicle has turned south onto March Lane. Hey, how about we drop down and bounce on his roof to slow him down? Helping out is good. Dropping's okay. Bouncing, I'd like to discuss a little further. Danny, you two just keep an eye on things from up there. <sighs> Doc's now on Waverly! <laughs> Headed right for some parked cars! Roger that. I'm on it. I think you mean we're on it, don't you? Just get us there, Heat Wave. Ah! Ah! <sighs> Doc's back on Main Street. You know, if I were a ground unit, I'd try to pop Doc's tires. Good idea, Blades. Guys, I'll go back to the station and get a spike strip. Then we can. No need, Danny. Boulder and I can improvise. What do you think? Feasible? A thing of beauty. the automated tire replacement works. Oh, no. Doc's on old 
Canyon Road. A blue team patrol with four bats and stasis. You slay the work in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the humans, serve and protect. Live in the world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. The players are made of robots and the skies. Rescue bots, go to the rescue. A hero is in me. Rescue bots, go to the rescue. Rescue bots. With Cody to guide them and show them the way. Rescue bots, we'll be safe in the day. Rescue bots, go to the rescue. Can you stop Doc's car if we land in front of it? Beats dropping and bouncing. No, Danny. Stay in the air. Chase and I are closing in. can uh, let go of the wheel now. <sighs> all in all, except for the part where I couldn't stop or steer, not a bad test run. Uh, yeah. An out of control vehicle, an unsuspecting public, disaster in the making. How did our brave family of heroes save Griffin Rock yet again? Kate Burns. Guts. That's what it takes to stare down a runaway car with nothing but a ladder. It was harrowing, but I dug deep and... Uh... Graham, anything to add? <clears throat> well, um, in order to create a makeshift tire hazard, I had to calculate the distance between... And how did you contribute, Danny? Me? I... Ah, Danny monitors everything from the air. I tell you, we couldn't do our job without my little sis. Huh, <laughs> we probably could, but... <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, a rescue of this type requires a lot of skill and concentration. You know, if there's mud to be found, Boulder's gonna roll right through it. I'm part tractor. It's what I do. I believe there must be a more efficient way to halt a runaway car than skiing behind it. There sure is. Keeping Doc Green out of the driver's seat. <laughs> Gotta love the Doc. Keeps us busy. <sighs> Some of us, others only watch from the sky. Aw, don't feel bad, Blades. Maybe our next rescue will happen in the air. <sighs> that would be nice. As long as it's not too high in the air. What's it matter who does what? None of us is appreciated. What do you mean, Heat Wave? Did you notice that I was the one out there risking hook and ladder? But Cade took all the credit once again. Well, I don't always get thanked for helping either. Neither does Danny. But I know we're appreciated. Something tells me Danny would not agree with you. Doc, are you here? Huh? Uh, sorry, Danny. I'm building a replacement for the newspaper dispenser I ran over. <laughs> One that beans readers in the head? Oh, no, no, no. One that tosses papers into your car as you drive by. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to thank you for your help today. Well, I didn't do much. But that's all going to change. Can you build me one of these? Ah, a scoop claw. You know, they used something like this on the island years ago for logging. Might even have one in storage. Could you lend it to me? Absolutely. Right after that thing runs out of Sunday editions. Hey, Danny, what are you doing? Cody, I beg of you, talk some sense into your sister, please. Relax, Blades. You're looking good. Hardly noticeable. 
Yeah, just don't fly over any power lines. <laughs> Actually, that is sound advice. What is that thing? A scoop claw, and it's gonna put both Blades and me into the action. Right, Blades? So you keep telling me. Time to winch it up. Hand me the remote, please. I can do it. I don't know. It's a little complicated. Yeah, pressing a button is so tricky. I just wanted it done right, little brother. Let's see you transform with it, Blades. Nobody laugh. Oh, I love it. I have to show Dad. <laughs> 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 what? Does it make me look fat? Oh, not at all, Captain Leadbelly. Come on, don't make fun of him. Ah, uh, he knows we're joking. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Blades just wants to be treated like he matters. Oh, oh, come on, Cody, we're just... You guys never know when to stop, do you? Cody? Get to the command center. We have a rock slide to deal with. your 20. We need all hands. Blades and I are almost there. Cody, can you see what's coming down the hillside at us? Stand by. A boulder as big as a house is coming right down on top of you. A boulder as big as a house is coming right down on top of you. A house? It sounds like the whole neighborhood. The way I see it, we have two options. Smash it or grab it. Smash it! On three. One, two, three! Huh? Oh. Huh. Whoa. Stand down, boys. Blades and I have it under control. Nice job, Danny. You too, Blades. That was certainly unexpected, though impressive. Yeah, 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 but since when do we not test the new apparatus before using it? Consider today the test, Grumpy. See you back home. There will be no living with Blades now. Blades! That was so cool! How'd you know you could pull that off? I didn't really. I, I thought the boulder would be too heavy, but then I tapped into a reserve of strength I didn't think I had. I'm trying to tap into a reserve of patience I don't think I have. For the record, Blades, that operation exceeded the acceptable level of risk. Guys, you should be happy for him. It was a great save. Oh, sure was. We could have been flattened out there. So thank you, Blades, for coming to our rescue. Anytime. Another thrilling rescue by Danny Burns and her helicopter bot. A 
Okay, if you yell, she's just going to yell back. We're not mad, Cody. We only want to talk to her. No, I'm mad. She's just trying to help. Helping is one thing. Hogging every mission is another. Hey, slackers. Rescue work has never been this much fun, am I right? Woo! <laughs> Something wrong? <clears throat> uh, Danny, we're concerned you might be stretching yourself a little thin. What he means is, stop hijacking our rescues. Your rescues? Uh, yeah. You're swooping in like some hotshot. Actually, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Except it's not your job, Danny. It's all of ours. Well, if you ask me, there's always room for... Oh, Cody, please. This doesn't really concern you. You know, where, where's Dad? What's he say about this? Hey, you know Dad. He wants us to work this out ourselves. Hand over that claw, Blades. I promise you won't feel a thing. Cody, a little help, please? This doesn't concern Cody. Really? You guys, too? Uh, we were just thinking that it might be best if the claw isn't used quite so often. Nobody had a problem when it was a big joke, but now that I'm saving the day... Technically, you're not saving the day. You're assisting the day when the day has not requested assistance. That claw is staying right where it is. Blades, we're going back out on patrol where we are appreciated. Excuse me. I'm needed in the field. What are you gonna do about this, Cody? Nothing. Like everybody says, this doesn't concern me, right? Fine, I'll see what I can do. Danny, hold on. I'll be your spotter. Keep your eyes peeled, Cody. Okay, with luck, we can take care of any problems before Cade or Graham even learn about them. You know the saying, the whirly bird gets the worm. I liked you all better when you were on the same team. We're still a team, Cody. It's just... Sometimes Cade and Graham think I can't do anything on my own. Yeah, I know the feeling. What do you mean? You kind of treat me the same way. Oh, Cody, I do not. Do I? Yeah, you do. And then every time Kate or Graham make you mad, I have to stay out of your way. You think I take my anger out on you? Cody speaks the truth. Take it from someone whose controls get a furious workout when you're mad. Cody, I'm sorry. I'll do better, I promise. Thanks. And you too, Blades. I'll go easier on the controls. Hmm. This conversation has been very cleansing, hasn't it? We better head back. Electrical storms and aeronautics do not mix. your location. Danny, tell me where you are. Ridgeline Cliff! Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Don't worry. I'm sure it looks worse than it feels. Uh, actually, no. It hurts. Just take it easy, Blades. Yeah, help will be here soon. We can't stay here. Which way to the road? And maybe we should ride out the fire inside, Blades. I can handle the heat, but you two would bake inside me like snickerdoodles. So that cliff is our only way out? We don't have the equipment to scale it. Sure we do. Here we 
go. Activate the winch. You do it. Everyone all right? Yes. Nice job, Leeds. <gasps> yeah, but now what? Look! Well, that's a problem. Dad, do you read? Cade? Graham? That power surge must have fried it. I'll try flying again. Be all right. The team will find us. I see them. Heatwave, Kate, lead the way. You heard the chief, bots. Let's grow some legs. Feel. Blades, you might have to transform so we can make a run for the road. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but I can't move. I must be more damaged than I thought. Blades. But he's injured, Dad. Bad. He can't transform. He won't need to. Danny, how did you feel being a rescuer in need of rescue? I felt lucky to be a part of such a brave family of heroes. And that includes my little brother, Cody. Thanks, Danny. And we couldn't do any of what we do without our amazing, amazing rescue vehicles. See that heat wave? We're officially appreciated. She could have mentioned us by name. Blades, how are you feeling? Much better, thank you. Spend an hour in the stasis pod and I'm ready for action. Only an hour? Then where have you been all afternoon? Danny and I were retrieving the scoop claw from the cliff. <sighs> oh, you're still gonna use that thing? Only when we need it. Which hopefully won't be too often. That claw is so uncomfortable. And you know what else? Your waistline looks better, too. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Griff, think fast. Good one, Graham. That's an H for you, man. Oh, That's an H. Mmm, I can't wait till tomorrow. The lobster dinner is the best part of the festival. <laughs> no way, Cody. The parade of technology is the best. Especially my dad's float, which did I mention I get to ride on? Frankie, it's called the Lobster and Technology Festival, not the other way around. Tech's not that important. <sighs> Fine. Then the next time you need your computer fixed, call a lobster. Hi, Frankie. Hi, son. Hold this, will you? We're almost finished inflating these parade balloons. Save the biggest for last. Cody, did you tell Frankie about you and the bots? I get to ride in the parade, too, with Dad. The rescue bots are the guests of honor. <laughs> Robots? <laughs> Big deal. Griffin Rock's got a million of them. Wait. 
Chase, transform and rescue. Ah! I'm sorry. Bots, roll to the rescue. <laughs> Doc, try to get your ankle loose from the rope. Heat wave, extend your ladder. Way ahead of you, as usual. Watch yourself. There are people around. Heat wave, climb. Yes, master. I'm all right, Fred. Ah! Oh. Easy now. Down a little. And... Got it. Uh, sorry, I gave you a scare, honey. Uh, sorry, I gave myself a scare. But I I'm fine. Thanks to you, Kate. <clears throat> Sorry, I must have uh, something caught in my throat. Thanks again. Cody, might not be a bad idea to have a little brush-up class for the bots. Some of them seem to be forgetting their robot behavior. And with all eyes on us tomorrow... I'll take care of it, Dad. Okay, you guys, remember, whenever you're around anybody other than my family, you have to pretend to be robots. Repeat after me. I am a robot. I am a robot. Hey, where's Heatwave? He's the one who needs this refresher. Haven't seen him. Well, what he did yesterday, don't do. No emotion. And you can't react unless we tell you to. Uh... Boulder? Oh. Sorry, but there's so much to look at. And I've never been to a parade. I want to see everything. Think of it like a game. Simon says, turn to your right. Simon says, raise your left arm. Turn left. Simon did not authorize that last movement. Right, Chase. Remember, at the parade, you can only do what your handlers tell you to do. And that's precisely why I'm not going. <gasps> Pretending to be hardware and obey humans who end up taking all the credit? Ah, uh, I'm sitting this one out. Heatwave, look, I don't blame you. My brother Cade can be a huge glory hog. But think of all those little kids who would love to see you and climb onto a fire truck. My point exactly. What do human children put on their fingers anyway? Last time I let one climb on me, I was sticky for days. Heatwave, 
You've seen the poster in the chief's office. Oh, you mean the one with the kitten hanging from the branch? No, the one that says there is no I in team. We're all part of the Rescuebot squad. We need to stick together. You rescue bots are my team. The humans are just my mission. No offense, Cody. Festival time. We'll head over in vehicle mode, then you'll transform to march in the parade. We get to march? This is gonna be great. Call forwarding on. Wow, she really has that robot voice thing down. Why are we waiting? Let's go. I'm trying. There must be something wrong with my ignition. Try a little harder. I am. It's it's not working. Well, fine with me. Now I can enjoy the parade without having to worry about Cranky Bot. Town sure will be disappointed. You know how the little ones love to climb on a fire truck. Wait here. Cody, check it out! My dad's newest invention! I call it Flodium. After last night's trouble, I realized what the world needs is a synthesized, controllable helium. See? A balloon with old helium. Gone forever. New Flodium. Voila! No more lost balloons, no more unhappy children, and no more clinging for my life from the tops of buildings. That is so cool. We've already put Flodium in the parade balloons. See? Cody, it's showtime. Incredible! Shh. Hey, Wave is missing a great time. Without a doubt, the biggest <laughs> and best lobster and tech best <laughs> ever. Boy, it just makes you want to bib just watching them, huh? And the color, the color of the... <laughs> I mean, they can't even walk in a straight line without me. Aren't there usually four rescue bots? <laughs> oh, well, the crowd doesn't seem to miss him. Excuse me, I'd like that lobster, please. Excuse me? Dig into one of those. Whoa! Maybe lobsters are the best part of the festival. Flying lobsters? <laughs> Dad! Flobsters! What are you talking about? Flying lobsters! Look! 
At least it's not livestock again. Is there any way we may assist? Just stay here for now. As robots. Thank you. The lobsters must have ingested the floatium. I had no idea it was effective on living tissue. <laughs> this is even better than my spray on pants. But the floatium will lose potency, right, Doc? Peter out the way helium does. The floatium was designed to last through the parade, plus the time for everyone to take their balloons home Divided by the half-life of the helium atom... Uh, two days. Two days? We're going to have lobsters? Uh, flobsters, Dad. Flobsters flying around Griffin Rock for two days? Precisely. A crustacean infestation. That can get a little annoying. I may have a solution. I need to get back to my lab. Can I stay here, Dad? These flobsters are fun! Just be careful. Uh, that's good advice. These things do have claws. Hey! Watch it, you selfish shellfish! As your mayor, I consider myself the head of the whole Griffin Rock family. So come on down, family. Enjoy some tech. Enjoy some tech! Oh! Well, there it is. You, you have just seen it, ladies and gentlemen. Our town is under attack. Ah! Uh, hide your children. Guard your property. Boil some water. Go! Oh! We can edit that out later, right? Come here, you little delicious crustacean. <laughs> ah! We need all the bots. I'm not sure how much longer I can take this. Blades, transform! With sincere pleasure. Steady. Ah, you can fly, but you can't hide. down here, sis. Okay, we'll rearm and go back up for another batch. Gotta hand it to you, Squirt. That was a good idea. Maybe, but one trap at a time? That'll take forever. Yes, Mr. Murphy, we know about the lobsters. Are you in any actual danger? Uh, hold on, Cody. I'm forwarding the emergency calls to the comm tab. Stay in touch with us. Things are going nutty all over town. This is the police. Put your claws over your heads and... Ah, come here, not. Oh, wait. All points bulletin, corner of... Lake and Arsenal. The mayor is under attack. We're close. <laughs> Shoo! Get away! No, don't you know who I am? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Whoa! 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 Thank you, Boulder. Now, put the mayor down. And, um, I found this? We sure could use Heat Wave. My thoughts exactly. Heat Wave, I know you can hear me. Get over here, you pile of... Cade, that won't help. <sighs> Hello, Heat Wave, can you hear me? It would be so nice if you could drop by, you pile of... Cade! Hey, where's Frankie? This 
is your last warning. Come any closer and I'll be sopping up butter with you. Yeah. Finally managed to get your engine started, huh? Just because I don't like parades doesn't mean I'm not gonna do my job. There's no I in rescue bots, right? But there is a me in team. I'm just saying. Cody, I owe you one. And thank you, too. Looks like you're a hero, Heatwave. Just doing my duty. Um, guys? <laughs> Can we do all the thanking and basking after we actually get rid of these things? Rescue team members, return to town square. Doc has something. I just synthesized a new destabilizing compound which will pump into the lobster tank. It immediately starts extracting the floatium from the water. Then the floatium is emitted harmlessly into the atmosphere through here. And the water returns to normal. See? So the lobsters in the tank have stopped floating, but what about the ones still flying around town? Excellent inquiry. <clears throat> we spray the extraction compound directly onto the flobsters. But I only had time to mix one batch, so we'll have to make the flobsters come to us. And how do we do that? We've tried corralling them. It's like herding cats. Yeah, they don't seem to be afraid of anything. Everybody's afraid of something. Okay, let's scare us some flobsters. It's working, Dad. Is Chase ready on your end? All systems go. one I wanted. Ah, hey, good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hey, <laughs> I need your vote. <laughs> Who's ready for a lobster dinner? Uh, Not now. Lost my appetite. Oh, if all parades are like this, I can't wait for next year's. Your planet never fails to fascinate. <laughs> What's so funny? I just got it. Flobsters, because <laughs> they fly there. Okay, never mind. You know, of all the weird things we saw today, 
That has to be the weirdest of all. Uh, here you go, buddy. We interrupt yet another encore presentation of the parade for this late breaking news. A dangling truck. A struggling rescue vehicle. A light hanging in the balance. Don't worry, Edgar. Everything's gonna be fine. It will be fine, won't it, Boulder? I hope so. Hold on just a little longer, buddy. The cavalry's here. Robot behavior, guys. You're on TV. Heat wave. Ladder. Got it. I mean, as you command. I trust your emergency brake is properly engaged, Boulder. Yeah. Not doing much good, though. Hop on, Edgar. Easy does it. Just want to make sure you're okay. And the Burns family pulls off yet another stunning rescue. Now for securing that highly toxic payload. driving chase. Chief Burnt, is this not proof of what I've suspected and reported all along? That aliens are living here in Griffin Rock, under our very noses? Uh, what exactly do you mean, Mr. Prescott? That, a crop circle. <laughs> well, technically it's not a crop or a circle. That's where the mayor and his wife have the grass cut for their weekly picnic. <laughs> Well, my search for truth, dear viewers, will never wane. This is Huxley Prescott, digging for dirt, so you don't have to. Don't worry, Chase. He's not mad. The Chief has every right to be mad. Tasked with keeping our true identities a secret, I failed miserably. I'm a shameless rebel. <clears throat> yeah, you are. Didn't know you had it in you. Don't worry, buddy. You made the right call. If it wasn't for you, we'd be cleaning up a toxic spill for the next week. Sir, slap a wheel boot on me. I deserve nothing less. I'm not here to reprimand anyone. I should have made this clear long ago. When lives are at risk, never hesitate to act, even if it means revealing your true identities. Sir, Optimus does not believe humanity is ready for the truth. Optimus would be the first to agree with me. If the secret gets out, we'll deal with it. Saving lives is always priority one. You still believe anyone on this rock would care that we're from Cybertron? We do help people. That ought to be proof we come in peace. 
It would be nice if we didn't have to act like mindless robots anymore. Some of us aren't very good at it anyway. <clears throat> I realize this has been difficult for all of you. But for now, we keep the truth to ourselves. Understood? Yes, yes sir. Nice job today, team. <laughs> and so the charade continues. Wow! Astounding work, Dr. Green. Just a little something I patched together in my off hours? Dad, I can't believe you built a set dish and didn't tell me. We can use this dish to eavesdrop on other life forms across the galaxy. That's what SETI stands for, Mr. Prescott. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Actually, little girl, I'm more concerned with what aliens out in space are saying to their spies here in Griffin Rock. You think aliens live here? Mr. Prescott can believe whatever he likes, Frankie. Especially since he paid to build this dish. Now, move aside. Oh, plug me in, Dr. Green. Well, first we turn this amplifier dial to normal power. And then you just listen. If you hear something unfamiliar, turn the dial all the way up. But don't leave it at that level for very long, or the system will overload. Finally, I will have proof that aliens from outer space are hiding among us. Connection to Griffin Rock Satellite successful. Movie time! I vote for an action film, preferably with high-speed pursuits. Comedy, please. I am so in the mood to laugh. Ooh, how about a romance? Uh, forget that. Put on a war movie. We're going to try something new. An historical drama. Oh, oh really? Don't Come on, Cody. War is part of history. You'll like it. It's about explorers living with natives in an uncharted land. Oh, Please you're get me. Me. Oh, Cody, this hurts inside. The natives have spears and blowguns. Now you're talking. Suspicious of us. We must not yet reveal ourselves to those on the island. Soon, ten ships will arrive, followed by ten more. Oh. We will call this the New World. It's worse than I thought. Griffin Rock is on the brink of a full-scale alien invasion. I used to think everything on Earth was interesting. This is a Griffin Rock emergency announcement. Huxley Prescott reporting live from my new SETI dish, where only moments ago I intercepted this secret communication sent to Griffin Rock from outer space. We must not yet reveal ourselves to those on the island. Soon, ten ships will arrive, huh? followed hmm? by ten more. Huh? We'll call this the New World. At this very moment, aliens are establishing a beachhead on our island in advance of their invasion. You have permission to be afraid. Very afraid. Alien communication? No way. Huxley must have made that up. Trying to save face after embarrassing himself today. Yeah, but this time, someone might actually believe him. Well, I'd like to think that no one in this town will pay any attention to... But what do I know? Griffin Rock emergency. Yes, Mr. Buffkin. No. No, I don't know why aliens would abduct your cows. Let's suit up. Uh, hold, please, Mr. Buffkin. Griffin Rock emergency. Cody, command center. On my way. But I just saw your husband earlier, Mrs. Pruitt. Edgar is not a giant cockroach from Mars. Griffin Rock Emergency. Hi, Mr. Perkins. Moon people are eating your corn? Uh, 
<laughs> Ow! Mr. Perkins, are you all right? They're coming. They're coming. Boulder, transform. Cody, let Mr. Buffkin know we found his missing cows. If we come across an alien, I hope it's just that small squishy one who's looking for a phone. Hey, Danny, I'm getting a bunch of calls about a UFO taking off from Town Square. We'll check it out. What are you doing, Milo? Going hunting for flying saucers. I need you to land this thing before you hurt yourself. Sorry, Danny. I have a right to defend my home! Um. You see, Mrs. Needlelander? Mr. Pettipaws wasn't abducted. He was just in a tree. Again. What is going on here? Warning, sir. A frantic pedestrian is approaching. <gasps> They're after us. They're here. You're next. <laughs> Mayor, nobody is after us. No, no. You're in danger, can't you see? They're everywhere. Just get, get out. It's just a brownout, Mayor. They're everywhere! They're everywhere! Now turn off that air raid siren before... Ah, oh, the whole town's gone nuts. All right, team. Listen up. Cody! Dad, I can barely hear you. The power's going crazy here. It's happening all over the island, Cody. Which is why I want Kate, Danny, and Graham to meet me at the power plant, and maybe we can... Dad? Anybody? <gasps> And now, the aliens are cutting communications. The first step before a full-scale invasion. Get off the island any way you can before it's... This doesn't make any sense. Boulder, where's Graham? Inside. Graham? Um, when did this place get so creepy? Cody, what are you doing, man? You shouldn't sneak around like that. Sorry, I just, I was by myself, and the comm lines were down, and, uh, I was worried about you. Appreciate that, son. You can help us look for Graham. I already found him. Follow me. Just an owl. You're all a little too jumpy. For good reason. I've seen pictures of aliens. They hug your face and lay eggs in your tummy. No, they're round blobs that swallow everything in their path, including vehicles. That is incorrect. Aliens are cloaked hunters, but they can't see you if you're covered in mud. Let's look for some mud. 
Just to remind you, we're aliens. How did you even get in here? Through one of the bunker tunnels. It leads right to the basement. I thought everybody knew that. What have you learned, Graham? Uh, something is siphoning the energy from the power plant. You mean like aliens? You saying aliens are stealing our electricity? I didn't want to believe it, but maybe Huxley's right. Guys, let Graham finish what he was saying. Well, from what I can tell, the energy is going straight to Huxley Prescott's SETI dish. Why does that not surprise me? All right, so we just need to shut the dish down, right? Right, before it overloads. What would happen then? A power surge so huge that it would blow up every electrical device on the island, including this power plant. <gasps> the entrance! We have to get back there before the power goes out. Too late. The electronic locks are offline. We're stuck inside. Key wave. Can you hear me? We hear you. The door is sealed. Stand back. There's no time. We'll take the tunnels. Heat wave, you and your team get to the SETI dish and disable it. Hurry. People's lives are at stake. On our way. We'll be driving without occupants. If anyone sees us, our cover is blown. It's pretty obvious even to me that humans aren't ready to learn about us. But like Chief said, saving lives is priority one. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Frankie, stay in the car. Has the National Guard been summoned? The Navy? Where are the evacuation choppers? There's no alien invasion, Huxley. Then how do you explain the lost communications and the blackout? My guess is you left the amplifier dial on high. And I'm right. Your SETI dish has been pulling energy from all over town, and now it's overloading. Well, well I... that doesn't mean there aren't aliens, and they're definitely invading, I assure you that. Then they might want to rethink their plans, because these controls are fried, and we're about to have a power surge that could crater half the island. Where are the Burnses? Chief! Chief! You must destroy the dish! It's our only hope! I don't think Chief Burns can hear you, Dad. There's no one inside those robots. Then who's giving them instructions? Activate camera. Record mode. Robots without masters. Could they be our aliens? Are they the ones who received that mysterious communication from space? Since Chief Burns and his family are not here... That's not true, Mr. Prescott. Robots, return. Mission accomplished. Awaiting further commands. That'll do for now. Vehicle modes, please. But I, I, th I thought they... Why I built you that dish, I'll never know. You and your imaginary aliens nearly blew up the island. Imaginary? How can you deny this evidence? We must not yet reveal ourselves to those on the island. 
Soon, ten Wait, that's the show we just watched. Endured is more like it. We will call this the new world. Wait a minute. Now I get it. That transmission didn't come from aliens. It came from a movie. A movie? Cody, what are you talking about? I watched it tonight. It's called The Natives of Tatooie. Oh, Cody streamed the film through the Griffin Rock satellite, and Huxley's dish picked up on the signal. That explains everything. But I... I... I th Unbelievable, Hux. Yeah, do you have any idea what you put us all through? We've been out all night. You know what they say about digging for dirt, Huxley. It gets your hands dirty. Let's go calm down the masses, everyone. <laughs> I don't think you'll need to, Chief. Huxley's been broadcasting live ever since the power came back on. Whoa. Dad, are vehicles capable of driving themselves? Not yet, Frankie. That's something I'm still working on. Hmm. See you, Frankie. Night, Cody. Wait! Have the aliens just been toying with us? Are they watching right now? Come out! Show yourselves! Friendly building, the Mayor Lusky Library. Repurposed aluminum can roof, used glass bottle walls, and of course, only books printed on reclaimed paper. Other buildings will be green with envy because everything about our library is 100% recycled, including the jokes. Emergency dispatch, go ahead. Charles, send the entire rescue force. Mrs. Niederlander? All right, stay calm. Her life hangs in the balance. You must come or else. Ah! Mrs. Niederlander, hello? Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. OK, I can see Mrs. Niederlander's house now. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. There could be a fire inside. Burglars. A busted pipe. Finally! You took so long to get here, I assumed I'd have to save Mr. Pettipaws myself! Ah! A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. You slid on a walk in the strangest of places. Maybe you didn't notice, but the robotic oaf just saved your life. Mr. Pettipaws is the one who needs saving. Oh, my baby. Emergency! Some people have a strange idea of what constitutes an emergency. Boulder, please get the cat down. Well, at least someone knows how to say thank you. You are welcome, Mr. Pettipaws. All right, everyone. Team meeting. As you know, today is Earth Day. Isn't every day on this planet Earth Day? Uh, yes, but today is special. So, we are going to give the firehouse a good spring cleaning. Dad, Earth Day is about helping the environment, not doing chores. 
We all celebrate in our own way. Cody, you and the bots tidy up the bunker. Danny and Graham, garage detail. Cade, you're with me. All I'm saying is, if a cat can climb a tree by itself, it can get down by itself. That rescue was a complete waste of time. Mrs. Niederlander seemed pretty worried about her baby. I was not aware humans could have domesticated animals as offspring. <laughs> that cat isn't really Mrs. Niederlander's baby. He's her pet. But sometimes pets can seem like family, or a best friend. Have you ever had a pet, Cody? Nah, I always wanted a puppy, but Dad said no dogs. Too much responsibility, kiddo. Wise words. These pets seem like more trouble than they're worth. No, not all of them, Chase. Some pets even work on rescue teams. See? Police can use specially trained dogs to sniff out whatever they want to find. Some pets ride along with firemen. And some help stranded skiers. Incredible! Where do humans find these pets? Usually at a shelter. All the animals are kept in big cages until somebody comes to take one home and... Hey, Frankie. Yep, I'll be right out front. I gotta go. Doc's taking Frankie and me to see the Earth Day exhibit at the zoo. What's a zoo? It's kind of like a big animal shelter. I'll email you pictures, Boulder. <sighs> Hey, hey, hey! How come Cody gets to quit early? I'm amazed you can see anything through that window. Keep scrubbing. Cody, hurry up! All the good photo ops are inside the zoo. Hold on. I gotta send this one to a friend. Frankie, we're passing up all the animals. To get to the best ones first. The lemurs, they're part of the Earth Day exhibit. But don't you want to stop and see the cross-eyed lion? Lemurs come before lions in the dictionary. Guess we're never going to get to the zebras. Aren't they amazing? These lemurs are so highly trained. They're practically as smart as people. Uh, then why are they playing with trash? They're not playing with it, they're sorting it. Each lemur has been taught to find recyclable material. See? They smell each piece of garbage to tell what it's made of and put it in the right bin. Plastic, glass, paper, whatever. <laughs> the lemurs even clean their own dishes when they're done eating. Wow, Cade doesn't even do that. Now can we see the cross-eyed lion? Okay, but I'm not sure how well he can see us. Boulder, shh. Where are you going? I'm going to get a pet for the team. Cody will be so surprised. I thought Chief said no dogs. Doesn't have to be a dog. Cody sent me pictures from the animal shelter he went to today. There are all kinds of pets there. Now I just have to pick which one to take home. It would be nice to have more help with our rescues. Can we get one that's furry? Why are the gates locked? Probably to keep the animals safe until they're adopted. Good thing it's a city structure. Engineers like me and Graham have 24-hour access. supposed to choose just one. Look, it's a Mr. Petty Paws in our size. He doesn't look as cuddly. I bet he's strong. Look at his horizontal chunk. He's the perfect pet for our rescue team. Huh, my scanner isn't working. You turn off the main power. 
I'll open the cage. <gasps> Welcome, newest member of the Rescue Bot team. Blades, what should we name him? Maybe Whiskers. Whiskers! Ah! Whiskers! I don't think he likes that name. Hurry! We have to find him before someone else adopts him. We're here to take you home. <gasps> Do not be alarmed. This is a routine patrol. Maybe we should call the chief? A cat doesn't constitute an emergency, remember? And we don't want to ruin Cody's surprise. Let's just keep looking. Nederlander again. <sighs> I'll take this one. Patch her through to my comm link. <laughs> and, uh, turn down the volume, would you, son? <laughs> Team, I have a situation here. Let me guess. A cat in a tree? You might say that. <laughs> This time, I think we're gonna need some backup. Ugh, you better loop the bots in on the comm link, Dad. Blades isn't here. Neither is Boulder. Where do they go? Gee, sorry, no idea. I must have missed share time. I'll tell Blades and Boulder to rendezvous with us at Mrs. Nederlander's. You three ride in heat wave for now. It's gonna be a tight fit. Ow! Hey, that's my seatbelt. Personal space, look it up. Watch your elbow. Where's Mrs. Niederlander? The, the line didn't get... I mean, she's not... I... She's safe. And so is Mr. Pettipaws. Oh, well, about time. I can't believe you went joyriding without me. There wasn't much joy involved. You found my pet! Your pet? Well, it, it was supposed to be a surprise for Cody. I think we're all surprised. Boulder, that's no pet. That's a wild animal. How did that thing get loose? I adopted it from an animal shelter. You mean a zoo? Is there a difference? Big difference. Human customs are so confusing. Thank you. 
shield bracelet. Fashion and function. How'd you know I was here? I tracked your cell phone signal. The line accidentally called me. It's a good thing I was nearby. We'd better tell my dad about this. <laughs> Shot, Danny. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just find the lion, would you? You two stay inside and you'll be safe. The school's locked down until we capture that lion. Chief Burns, where's your team? It's madness out here. Mayor, slow down. Is it the lion? It's the library. It's being destroyed by, by, by vermin. Real hair. Hey, those look like the super smart lemurs from the zoo. You hear that, team? The lemurs must have escaped when Boulder freed that lion. Boulder did that? Oh, sorry. I ruined the surprise. But the zoo lemurs were trained to sort garbage, not wreck buildings. That building is garbage. Recycled garbage, anyway. The lemurs must think they're just doing their job. So, how do we get them to quit? I know. We give him a treat. Danny, you keep trying to corner that lion. If you need backup, give a holler. The rest of you, hustle over to the library. Cody has a plan. Mayor, you should probably step back for your own safety. I finally have a building named after me. It gets trashed. To be fair, Your Honor, the building was trashed to begin with. <laughs> I mean, it's just... <clears throat> How's the plan coming, Cody? I don't want to say things are bad, but the library has two new skylights. We're ready to roll, Dad. Now the lemurs always get fed when they finish recycling at the zoo. So they'll stop working once they see we have a scoop full of treats. The 
The lemurs don't seem to care. That's weird. Wait! At the zoo, a bell rang before the food came out. I'm sure I can synthesize a bell noise. Boulder, can you amplify this? That worked a little too well. Boulder, reverse. We can't let the lemurs eat all the treats before we lead them back to the zoo. I'll have to go slow. I don't want to back over anything. Way ahead of you, or should I say right behind you. Boulder, if you choose to run red lights, I will not report you. Stop, citizens. Um, animals have the right of way. Bad news, guys. I found the lion. Shouldn't that be good news? Not where she found it. Hurry, Boulder, or the lemurs are gonna be lion chow. Whoa! Great catch, guys. <laughs> you know what they say, eighth time's the charm. Cycling can be so dangerous. Hey. Someone cut the power to these cages. I thought it was part of the adoption process. And the Mayor Lusky enclosure will make certain our town's beloved cross-eyed lion stays where he belongs. <laughs> Uh. Whiskers was too much to handle. Still, it would be nice to have a pet. Yeah, I know how you feel. And so does Dad. So, we got you something to practice with. For me? Come on, boy. Let's go outside. Wanna play catch? I don't think he understands the whole concept of a pet yet. on the loose again. Found him. Oh. Looks like he's having another stabilizer malfunction. We might need all hands on this one. Water should short out the helipack, so when Mr. Harrison dips low enough, we'll hose him down. I assume we means me. <sighs> that worked much better in my head. Ah! Boulder, catch him with this! Sort of like baseball, right? And here comes the line drive. Uh, make that a Baltimore chop. Control.
Job, little bro. Where did you get the go kart? Storage room, I expect. And back under a tarp. How'd you know? I built her when I was your age. It's that old? <laughs> Cody, you're lucky it didn't disintegrate. <laughs> Couldn't. Wood's probably petrified by now. <laughs> I didn't think they even had combustion <laughs> engines back then. <laughs> Ha ah, ha, you're all a riot. The cart is a little old school, Dad. So if it's okay, I'd like to fix her up a little. <clears throat> I'm sorry to interrupt, but could one of you possibly give me a ride to work? <laughs> it's so tiny. Bet it doesn't even transform. It's not supposed to, Heatwave. This is an unlicensed vehicle. You cannot lawfully drive it on public roads. Guys, Griffin Rock has a hundred routes for alternative vehicles. Stop worrying. <sighs> hey, what's wrong, Blades? Well, I guess this means you won't be needing us for transportation anymore. A go-kart's just a ride. You guys are my best friends. <laughs> Just have to mark these items, then let the scrapmaster do its job. Another benefit of living in Griffin Rock. Even the trash can surprise you. If people just took the time to look, they'd find beauty hidden everywhere, even in a junkyard. Like this. Wait and see. My cart's really gonna turn some heads. Come on. Does a new paint job really justify a ceremony? Cody! Uh, need a hand with anything? I'm ready. Are you ready? We're, We're ready. ready. Dad, go ahead. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen, and Autobots, may I present Cody Burns and his Rolling Thunder. Very classy. Not half bad. Well, what do you know? It did transform. Griffin Rock emergency. Understood. I'll send someone right away. Well, <sighs> seems Mrs. Niederlander's cat is stuck in a tree again. In the town square. I'll take care of it. Hang on, Kate. Cody, are you and Rolling Thunder available? Really? You bet. Heat 
wave, if you'd be so kind. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Rolling thunder, roll to the rescue. Uh, on alternative vehicle routes only. This is Rolling Thunder reporting in. Any other assignments, Dad? Uh, nothing yet, Cody. I'll keep you posted. Copy that. Doggies. You did great, Boulder. Cody, what happened? Frankie's dogs broke loose, and Rolling Tortoise couldn't catch up. K9 rescue successful. <laughs> Edison, Aristotle, you scared me. Thank you, Rescue Bot. And thank you, too, Graham. You did order your bot to intercede, didn't you? Of course. Cody helped, too. Right. Thanks for trying, Cody. Whoa! <laughs> Love the toy car! We better get back to planting those trees. Come on, Boulder. You all right? Toy car? I'm telling you, if Rolling Thunder was just a little faster, I could have... Ended up in the street and been flattened by that truck. More speed isn't always the answer. Easy for you to say. You can go turbo whenever you want. Cody, believe me. Sometimes putting the brakes on lets you see things more clearly. Slow going is fine sometimes, but... You know what this baby really needs? A bigger motor. Then she could really fly. See ya, Boulder. Define bigger. Nothing outrageous. Just a, um, 484 blown Hemi big block with dual injection. Can I borrow your credit card? The lawnmower engine was enough when I was a boy. But Rolling Thunder is too slow for most rescues. Maybe, but remember, it was your quick thinking that saved Mr. Harrison yesterday, not a faster go-kart. Dad. Cody. Driving a high-speed vehicle requires training. You'll get that training someday. Understood? My dad's not here. What do you need him for, anyway? I was hoping he'd have some kind of bioengineered fuel for my go-kart to make it run better. Like super gas? <laughs> if my dad were here, he'd make a joke about burping. But follow me. Sometimes when we're running late, Dad pours one of these into the tank of his truck. And zoom! Don't tell your father. What about this stuff? I've never seen that one before. Nanite fuel. What are they? Bugs? Nanites are like tiny robots. Label says they can be used on any machine to enhance performance. Jackpot! Careful! A motor that size probably needs just a little boost. If a little is good, a lot will be better. My dad said something like that once. J 
just before the lab exploded. It's working already. All right, Rolling Thunder, let's see some lightning. Connect me to Chief Burns, please. Emergency? Not yet, but any second now. This is more like it! <laughs> Hi, Dad! Cody, what's your status? Um, just up for a drive. Maybe having a little trouble stopping the go-kart. Head for the junkyard. One of the big mulch piles should slow you down. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Are you all right? I'm sorry, Dad. It's out of control. What is? Better transform. You don't want to see what that thing does to vehicles. Halt! Ah. It appears to have no regard for authority. What happened to the Scrapmaster? It's not supposed to shred everything. The nanites I borrowed from Doc Green's lab shot out of the go-kart and into that thing's gas tank. Nanites? They must have overridden the Scrapmaster's system somehow. Everyone take cover! Heat wave! On it! That is one tough hunk of metal. Yeah, practically Cybertronian. If the nanites are the problem, we need to disconnect the Scrapmaster's fuel line and drain them out. I can do that. Distract it! Boulder, 
Can you resist the nanites at all? That last transformation, not my idea. Boulder, listen to me. Get control of yourself, because if you can't, I'll have to. <laughs> for the park. Please evacuate the park immediately. I repeat, evacuate the park immediately. No! 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 Poor Boulder. Why would those nanites invade him like that? Cody, what are you doing? Trying to put the brakes on. Boulder says it helps you see things more clearly. The nanites keep moving from one machine to another, right? And each one's bigger than the last. It's like they're searching for something gigantic enough to really let them cut loose. Dad, what's the biggest machine on the island? The generator's over at the power plant. Why? Great idea, Cody. The power plant's so large, even a million nanites won't overload it. In theory. It's risky. Worth a try. Boulder, did you copy that? Power plant! You got it! Sorry, tree. Boulder, inside you'll see rows of turbines and generators. You have to open one of the pipes that connect them. Evacuate the town. No. We're good. We'll keep an eye on things, but it looks like the nanites have finally met their match. Boulder, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. I just wanted to go faster and. I know. Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> Takes more than a bunch of whatever those were to hurt me. You had us quite concerned, Boulder. Yeah, just be glad I didn't have to tackle you and give you a thumping. <laughs> Not entirely sure who'd have thumped whom. And uh, don't worry about the trees in the park, Boulder. I believe you have a volunteer to help replant them. Right, son? <laughs> Just one more lap around the park. State-of-the-art rescue vehicles sitting here idling, and that's what they choose to drive. Sitting's not so bad. Enjoy it while we can. I believe the level of smog emissions from that go-kart might exceed EPA standards. <sighs> uh -huh. There's taking things slow, and then there's slacking off. These trees aren't gonna plant themselves. I lied! This is the last time, I promise! Hmm, you're not listed in the inventory. Where did you come from? <laughs> 